Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Story makers. Hello. Has everybody gone? Welcome, one and all. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Ooh, do you know I feel rather strange today? Oh, why is Ooh. that then, Milton? Ooh, well, I'm hot and flushed one moment, then cold and shivery the next. Ooh. Oh. I, I do hope you're not coming down with a cold or even the flu. Ooh. Oh, t today the librarian was telling hot and cold stories. Maybe you've been listening to them. You mm. could be right. They were very good, weren't they? Mm. Mm. I like the hot place stories. I'd love to be hot all the time. Ooh. Mm. If you were a fireman, you'd be working in a hot place all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should find out a bit more about that. One fire engine into the machine. <laughs> now we need your help to make a story. Are you ready with the magic words? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's called My Dad's a Fireman. Amy's dad has a very important job. Can you guess what job it is? He has to wear a special uniform with rubber boots, blue trousers and a jacket, and a bright yellow hat. Can you guess? He has to drive a special vehicle. It's got flashing blue lights and there's a long ladder on the top and it's bright red. That's right! Amy's dad is a fireman! When they are called out to fight a fire, the firemen have to slide down a long pole. Then they line up for roll call. Firefighter Smith, Firefighter Pew, Firefighter McGrew. Oh, yes, and Firefighter Amy. For all your duties, fall out. Today, Amy has come to help give the fire engine a good wash. Lots of bubbles. Hose it down. Scrub the wheels. Make it clean. All over. There, all done. And just in time. The firemen have to go and put out a fire. The printer sends a message telling them where to go.
Amy's dad really does have a very special job. Hmm. Do you think Amy would like to be a firefighter? Oh, I think it's something I would like to do. Oh, mm. It's a bit too hot for me. I'd like to be a bit cooler. No, oh, oh, you could sell ice cream. Oh, no, mm. no. Why not? Because I would want to eat all the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look, the children were playing a hot and cold game earlier. Yeah. They had to divide all these things into hot things and cold things. Mm. Oh, that's something I would like to do. Do you want to join in too? Mm. 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 We start with uh, that on the, the end. It is a woolly hat, hat mm. that is to keep you hot on a cold day. Yes. So it is hot and, and cold. cold. Mm. What's oh, next? Uh, and those are some sunglasses. Mm. And you wear them on a sunny day. So they are hot. So hot. Mm. Mm. And then next is this teapot for a nice cup of hot, hot tea. tea. That is hot. Hot, hot, hot. And, mm. oh, oh, that's a, that? an ice tray for making oh. ice oh. for nice cold, cold drinks. drinks. Mm. And then last of all, what is oh, this? I know what that is. Mm. That is a ski pole. A mm. ski for pole? For skiing in the snow. Oh. Oh, we could make a story with this ski pole. Yes, yes. Come on. <laughs> a cold ski stick for a story. Mm. Right, let's use our imagination. Ready? Imagine, 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 imagine a story. It's Jack Sprat and Treacle Cat. The Big Freeze. Jack Sprat and Treacle Cat lived in a bin. A bin that people drop rubbish in. While Treacle dreams, Jack Sprat schemes. What will Jack Sprat make today? Ah, cold, glorious cold. Oi, Treacle, get yourself up here, mate. Oh, it's freezing, Jack. What's all the fuss about? Take a look at this snow rat, mate. How's that for a bit of art? Well, it's not quite what I'd call art. Ah, you big fluff ball. Come on, how about a snowball fight? Oh, it's too cold for me. I, uh, oh, oh, dear. oh, my fur's freezing and my paws are perishing. Oh. Hang on there. I know what you need. There's an old mitten down below. I'll nip down and sort you out a winter warmer. <laughs> oh, dear. So cold. There you go, Treacle. That'll keep a cat cosy. Oh, oh thank you. <clears throat> what do you think of my new headwear? Oh, hey, oh hey? yes, yes, a fine fit. <laughs> oh, look out, we've got company. Better get inside. Oh. Ah, what have we got there, Jack? Looks like a couple of bits of old wood. Mm, ah, just what I need. Oh, here we go. What? What do you think you're going to make with those? A set of skis, of course. Skis? Yep, just what the rat needs for the snow. You don't know how to ski. Just you wait and see. Ah, I remember those winter seasons in San Moritz when I was in my prime. I won the downhill cat championships. Whizzing down the slopes, the wind whistling through my whiskers. <laughs> the other cats chasing my tail. <laughs> they couldn't catch me, of course. I was the fastest feline on four paws. Oi, Treacle! <laughs> Come and take <laughs> a gander! Whee! Oh, oh my goodness, Jack Spratt. A rat with no style. I, I say, take it easy, Jack. I'm rat-tastic on these skis. Look at me. <laughs> rat-tastic? You'll look more like Ratatouille if you keep that up. Whee! Oh, no. I can smell danger. Wait for this. Ooh, ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, Chief, I'm losing control. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> I've got my tail in a tangle. Me snout's taking a nosedive. Hell. Don't say that I didn't warn you. Oh dear, another perfect mess. <laughs> you know, I've always had the desire to become an explorer. 
Oh, that's someone who travels to faraway places. Mm, hot places and cold places, mm. like the scorching Sahara Desert. <gasps> Lots of hot sand. <laughs> and cold places like this. <gasps> On top of the world. Yes, the North Pole. A jolly chilly place to be. Ooh, you, you'd have to take a woolly hat with you. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we could put that in the story machine and make a North Pole story. Excellent. Hmm. All together now. Ready? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story, and it's called Blue Cow at the North Pole. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the sun. I wonder what it would be like to go somewhere very cold. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a very cold place, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the North Pole. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. Everything was white with snow and it was bitterly cold. The landscape seemed very flat, except for one little house far in the distance. Blue Cow stood beside a frozen lake. On the lake there were very small people skating and playing. Blue Cow was feeling very cold. Hello, said Blue Cow to one of the little people. Is it always this cold here? Always, replied the little person, who had pointed ears, a bell on the end of his floppy hat, and ice skates with pom-poms on. I'm Blue Cow. Who are you? I'm an elf, and my name is Cindy. Do you want to play? said Cindy. Yes, please, but I'm freezing, shivered Blue Cow. Oh, you'll soon warm up. Put the skates on. Blue Cow put on four multicoloured pom-pom skates, and Cindy led her onto the ice. It was brilliant. Blue Cow was spinning and sliding. She even managed to jump in the air. She was even warming up. Are you having fun? asked Cindy. Yes, lots of fun. We have to get back to work now. Where do you work? Over at that house in the distance. What do you do? asked Blue Cow. We are Santa's elves. We help Santa make presents for children all over the world. Well, it was lovely meeting you, said Blue Cow. Come back soon, said Cindy, as the elves headed off to Santa's house. Oh, I most certainly will, said Blue Cow. Bye! The dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Oh, for how cool. Bye, story makers. <laughs> See you again soon. Come with me.